As President Obama battles Republicans over the approaching fiscal cliff, he's also readying a major cabinet shuffle that'll set the tone for his second term. Secretary of State Hillary Rodham Clinton and Defense Secretary Leon Panetta have long made clear they're leaving. So is Obama's point man in the debt talks, Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner. Other departures are also possible. That's in sharp contrast to a first term that saw only two cabinet chiefs replaced. Uh, the Obama administration has been very solid, uh, very little turnover. One possible move has ignited GOP anger. UN envoy Susan Rice is a leading candidate for Secretary of State. But some Republicans say her flawed account of the terror strike that killed America's ambassador to Libya rules her out. We have to have a system we can trust. And if you don't know what happened, just say you don't know what happened. The president has staunchly defended his longtime advisor. Susan Rice is extraordinary. <laughs> Couldn't be prouder of the job that she's done at U.S. Obama's spokesman says nothing's decided. No, I'm not going to speculate about uh, a personnel decision the president has not made, a nomination he has not put forward. And some pundits wonder about kicking off a new term with a partisan brawl. Can he really afford uh, to have uh, a, a furious fight? initially over this. He's got enough on the platter already. If it's not Rice, the choice could be Massachusetts justice, Senator John Kerry, though he's Americans also a candidate at defense, alongside Deputy Secretary Ashton Carter, former Pentagon official Michelle Flournoy, and former Senator Chuck Hagel, who's a Republican. So will Obama's new look yeah, be more bipartisan? You. Occasionally, you reach outside. Usually, it doesn't work very well. Uh, because uh, the other party doesn't uh, thinks of that person as, a, as an ingrate. At Treasury, the likeliest candidate is Obama's current chief of staff, Jack Lew. But he also has to replace CIA chief David Petraeus, who left in a sex scandal. Choices there include Deputy Chief Michael Morrell and White House counterterrorism chief John Brennan. Meaning, when it's all over, this extensive shakeup will give Obama a slew of new faces in his administration's most visible places. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, The White House.